Hello guys, new day. We're like dressed and ready. It's so like after 8, 8 13. The driver is coming at 8 30. First he said 8 40, then they message it, change it. So we're gonna do 8. Um, so I'll have the key. She turned off the light. We're gonna do 8 30. So we're gonna rush down to get some breakfast um, before we are ready to go to Abu Dhabi. But this is my look that I'm serving today uh, black and white with a pop of red. And then I have like my red bag. I have like a shirt in my bag as well because we have to like put our arms and stuff. So, you have everything? Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Is it a fan? Yeah. Why is he telling me that I'm on my way to the. What's wrong with these people? I'm on my way to the hotel. Okay, you're gonna have to wait. The amount of time they be messaging, they even call the hotel room, seven, the room 7 30. They call the hotel and the hotel transfer 7 30. That is some quick breakfast. Look like it's like a toast and butter type of thing <laughs> or some fruit. I'm wondering nice. if they have like takeaway um thingy. Well, we might not be able to eat. Well, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna head down to breakfast now, try and see what we can get quickly. We arrive at um Abu Dhabi. We're going somewhere. I'm not sure yet. I think we're gonna probably put on I think you said we're going to the mall first. But we need to put on like the abaya. Just don't look like the mosque. Huh? Just don't look like the mosque. No, he said we're going somewhere first, but we need to put on abaya. It's so hot. Um, or the toilet or something like that. So we're all going and then. I'm so tired. I just wake up so my. I need to gather my. my, my. <laughs> I don't know how you're on the camera already. I know. I need to gather my thoughts. Let me get like, let, get let me get let me gather my thoughts because I just literally just got up. <laughs> We're currently in the store because yeah. they gave us a buyer, but we hate the color, so we're gonna just get our own. I just wanna make sure the guy's not left us. Sorry, I'm just gonna I'll talk out. You can because that's his job. Yeah. <laughs> should be the help. Uh, you cannot let people. Oh, this is this is ours actually. <laughs> yeah. Let me put it here. I think. Uh, that's what I'm apples. thinking. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's transparent. Mm -hmm. No, for her, I think no. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yes. I can see the stripes. Yeah, you can see the stripes. I might need to get a different color. Dry black. Yeah, I might need to get a different color. Should I try the black one on? Sure. Thank you. How much? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the black showing? Yeah, I think the black works to put the stripes in the upper. Yeah. Yeah, showing on the Yeah. Do you have like a mirror where I can look up? Yeah, just straight after the wallet. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Don't forget your abaya. Oh yes. I'll pick it. I'll pick it up in a bit. Where's the mirror? Is it here? No, oh, it's a tiny one. Oh, I need to put my hair down. Oops. I need to put my hair down. But this is so much better. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm gonna take my hair tie out and put my hair down because the other ones. We just look hideous in them. Are you pay already? Oh, let me pay as well. 
gone through security and everything like I need to see if I can hide this bit for my photos of course we've gone through security and everything and now we're just headed we're in the mosque so we're just gonna start our tour now it should be really good it was a little bit chaotic because we didn't get to like look at ourselves before we go because we just went to the shop bought this and then head out um but we're gonna start our tour and what else was i gonna say my brain was a little bit foggy earlier but this place is literally like so clean and the guide was really good into telling us like the history of dubai abu dhabi which was so interested and how rich like the locals are um locals that are like emirates or something like that or rich they are and some of the benefits that they have in in dubai and abu dhabi as well which is just amazing and now you know like why they're so rich because they get so much benefits from like the government it was just very interesting to like know businesses here doesn't pay tax as well of course people doesn't pay income tax and he also mentioned that they don't have like pension only because the government doesn't take anything from their pay so pension wise they have to pay pay their own contribution if they want to um and then um retirement age is like 56 which is great because i think in the uk it's like older than that how much is retire age in the uk sherry is it like 65 65 or 64 one of those age in the uk but here it's like 56 which i think is such a good age to just stop working for me i want to stop working before then um but yeah i will let you know more about the tour once we get in and show you around and stuff okay guys my group let's go to the second photo stop please we're pretty much just taking photos um we just got like got, went to like two photo spot and now we're in the main courtyard it smells so good and it's cool so cool in here this is the prayer room Sheikh Zayed Granit. Actually, this prayer room is dedicated for visitors. It's like taking some photos, and now we're in the main courtyard of the mosque. And now we're going in the main courtyard, and he's just giving us like a, a rundown of everything. It is so beautiful here. Right. Like the design of this building is just amazing. Honestly. Huh? The camera is not even doing it justice. Like, you're gonna have to come here to see it in person because the camera is just not. I can barely see it with this sunlight shining in my eyes. <laughs> but it is the design, everything is just so clean as well. Wow. We're finished with our tour of the mosque and we're gonna head back into the mall. And um, we have about one hour to like kill at the mall before we meet him. So he's gonna like pray and stuff um, and then give us time to, to go around and take pictures and stuff. But I might get something to drink cause it's hot, something maybe to munch on as well. I'm hungry, but not like hungry, hungry, but I could eat. I could eat something. But this place is literally like just so beautiful. So beautiful. And it's just really nice like hearing the history and learning a bit more about the religion and stuff. It's nice. 
example, let me show you a little bit of the grounds instead of me. They're in McDonald's. Um, I order like a McChicken, McRoyal. Thank you so much. Thank you. How come I didn't know that McDonald's was table service? I did not know. And I order like a McChicken, McRoyal meal, like just drinks. So. That will be good. At least the tour wasn't like too much. You know, some tour they do the whole day. I do one that I did in Mexico and we do on my birthday as well. I was like, if I know you guys were going to take the whole day, you <laughs> tour on your birthday. <laughs> and I wish I'd just stay in and like do my massages and relax. Because I thought it was going to be like a quick tour because that's what they said. How long was it? It was the whole day. I leave from early in the morning and I get back in the night. I'm like, never again. Did you take a tour of the whole at um, Mexico or something? They went to like the shit in so. And they do like the, um, the kennel test. And I was like, never again. You know, on your birthday, you like to just chill sometimes or not do too much because it can become too much. Because every people mess with you and stuff. I did not pick up the vlog um, camera because we were rushing. But I'm like all dressed and ready. Oh, it's all dressed and um, ready. We're gonna head to One Oak, eat food, and then they do like a clubbing night type of thing. I don't have my camera with me because I don't know if they accept camera in there. So I'll just leave it to be on the safe side. Let me just make sure I'm not chatting shit. Yeah, I actually left it. Um, outfit is really cute tonight it's giving what is it giving sexy <laughs> very very sexy but um i'm hoping that one of is gonna be like it's kind of like an r&b and seems like all r&b vibes so it should be like really really good i think we can probably jump in one of these you know hey guys we just got back in it's about after 2 2 15 a.m we just got back in from One Oak. Uh, it was a really good night. <laughs> really good night. Um, we had like food. The music was really nice. Um, it was more of like a chill vibe because you know it's like old, old school R and B, um, hip hop vibe. It's really chill. We got like shisha, loads of food. The vibe was right. Everything. So yeah. We just got in and we're about to like get ready to go to bed. I didn't really show you much of like in the place because I just wanted to enjoy my night, okay? <laughs> um, so just got back in and about to like just get on ready for the night and chill, no, sleep, go to bed and stuff. Um, tomorrow we don't really have like any solid plan, which is good. So we get to like stay in a little bit later tomorrow. We're probably going to go to the beach or like a beach club tomorrow and then in the night we're gonna find something to do which is really good so tomorrow is the only day that we had to just go go with the flow type of thing um which is much needed okay um i really like the vibe of that place really nice they have like a club part but it, the club is only open like on the weekend the place is called one oak if i haven't mentioned the club is open on the weekends and then in during the week they have the terrace part that's open and they do like i got like sushi and like loads of different stuff and it was like unlimited drinks until 12 a.m um so i got like three drinks about two wine and a cocktail um what's the cocktail that i got can't remember the cocktail that i got but it was nice um and now i'm feeling super super nice but very very sleepy the outfit was really really giving i took my belt off what the outfit was giving we haven't i got like so much swimwear for this trip but we haven't really gone to like any beach or anything or pool so for but hopefully we can get to go to one tomorrow the pool here is just always crowded so we don't even bother 
um, hopefully there's a beach around the corner, JBR Beach. We haven't tried that one yet. We're going to go to like a proper beach club, I think. We just need to search and see which one that we want to go to. Um, I do have a list on the Note app um, of beach clubs. So we just need to choose one for tomorrow. And yeah, I am very, very tired. So I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, it is a new day in Dubai. I don't even know which day it is at this point. Today is Thursday, so probably like day four. Yeah, we're about to like get ready to head out to the beach club. Um, we need to get there for 11.45, 12 latest. So I'm just picking out like a bikini that I wanted to wear. I think I'm going to go with this pink set. Um, should be really good. So had breakfast this morning. Just literally found the beach club on TikTok. Give them a ring and that's the one that we're going to go to. Um, so we're going to head off to Drift, which is more of like a chill vibe because we just want to like have a chill vibe and tan. Get a nice tan in. And then um, later on, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do as well. Um, so we, we don't know yet, but we will figure it out. So today is kind of one of them vibe. Which should be really good. It's normally the best days when you don't have any plans and you just go with the flow, you know? So that is the vibe for today. And we're wearing this bikini. I'm going to try and get some photos. Not too much photos because I just want to chill. I'm so tired as well. Last night I went to bed like after four this morning. Um, because I was just up. After we came in, I was just up in bed on my phone doing some editing. So that's what I spent the day doing yesterday, the morning doing um, this morning. So still a little bit tired. So I'm looking forward to that nap on the beach today, which should be really, really good. But yeah, once I get dressed and everything off to the beach club, then I will show you guys like what the outfit and everything is saying. I'm dressed and ready. This is not my actual thingy. So I have like a pink bikini on any and then my pink cover up. Yeah, just put this over so I can get in the cab and stuff. Um, this is one that I wore in Mexico. It's very thin, which is good. So I shouldn't be boiling that much. Okay, we're gonna head out in a minute. What time is it? So 11.28, so we have time, which is like, this was a quick get ready. And I also have like my mesh bag here with like a few bits that I might need. Once I get there. We're currently at the entrance. Like the entrance was so pretty. I will insert something that I've got my friend to show you guys. The entrance was really nice. The service has been nice so far. Just lying down or um, any other sunbed thing. Yeah, it's going to be fit like a really good spot as well. This is our view. I don't know if you can see like much over there. Uh, it's really pretty, chill vibe, even the music and everything as well. You get like a, today is like a ladies Thursday. So you only pay like 99 AED to go in and come in and then you get like a champagne on a tree. So we're going to be pretty much just chilling here for however long. I'm going to move out to get a tan soon as well. I'm going to look a different colour in the next few minutes. Hey guys, it is a new day. It is Friday. I haven't done a good job at vlogging yesterday either. Yesterday was Thursday and we pretty much went to like the beach club. It was like a chill day to be fair. So that's why I wasn't like vlogging too much. Went to the beach club, which was really good. It was very like relaxing vibe, however, it was hot. When I tell you that it feel like you're in a sauna, even the air that you breathe in feels like you're breathing in sauna air. So it was that hot. At one point, we were literally sweating. My swimsuit top was wet and we haven't even been in the water. Well, we I've been in the water to wet my foot. 
but not the upper part of my body. And when I tell you that I was wet, I was wet, but it was such a beautiful beach club. Love the vibe there. Love how chill it was. Really get to like relax a little bit, which was great. And then took some pictures as well. A few guys are on my Instagram. You've probably seen those already. And then in the evening, we got back to the hotel, pretty much just chill a bit. And we ended up going to Dubai Mall. And we just had Vapiana there, watch the, the water, um, the fountain thing. Yeah, watch a baby like five times. <laughs> it probably showed five, four or five times. Um, and that was really, that was really good. It was a nice view, good chill time, conversations, that sort of stuff. And then today now, which is Friday, I'm currently getting ready to go to the water park. Today is our last full day here. So we're going to the water park and then we're going to try and figure out something that we're going to do later. Probably going to go out. Um, our plan was to go to the water park, come back, eat dinner at the hotel and go like to one of their clubs type of vibe. So hopefully we can stick to that today. <laughs> I'm going to like run out one of my shirts. I'm going to wear it as like a cover up. Um, so for the water park, I'm just going to wear like these denim shorts with my bikini, but you got to cover up to go into the, the taxi or to be fair, I don't think I need to. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to run out this and just to see how my outfit is because I haven't tried on the swimsuit or anything to see how deep the V is or anything. But yeah, excited for the water park. It should be really good. Again, I'm not too sure how much footage I'll get because I won't bring my camera. But I'll take my phone and I'll get some footage from there with you. But yeah, it's been such a good trip so far. It's about to like iron now. I hate ironing. I don't know if anyone else is like this as well, but I absolutely despise it. But <laughs> we just got to do what I got to do because I don't like wrinkled clothes. Yesterday I went out in these wrinkly trousers and I was like, Ugh. but I just wasn't going to pick out any iron. We're going to explore Dubai again. Very, very hot Dubai. This time of year is so hot. Even the beach club that we went to yesterday, they're closing on June 19th because of the summer months. They're closing for two months Maybe because it's so hot. I don't know if people visit Dubai like that time that much because it is... You just have to come for like, feel it yourself to see what I'm talking about. But I heard maybe like up in the year, like January, February, that time is a bit more on the chillier side this time of year hot babe even though it's like such an amazing country like so stunning absolutely love it anyways enough of being rambling let me just run out my clothes because we don't have much time 10 20 we're planning to get there by 11 or leave up by 11 well we're planning to leave up by 11 not not gonna happen though but we'll see Start off like small, it's like a warm up, yeah, quick, quick warm up before we go on the other rides. Probably need to like put my hair up, but um, really looking forward to like today to just full joy, you know. This is gonna be really good. We're in the lazy river. Park. I mean, we're still at the Atlantis, just chilling. Why is the moon out already? Can you see it there? Isn't that the moon? You can see the moon out already. I'll show you guys in a bit what I'm talking about. But um, currently at the Aventura Beach that is still in the Atlantis. We're just chilling. I like catch up on some some sun because apparently the weather in London is not that great. So we're just chilling on the beach before we head off. I had something to eat a little bit earlier. I just had like a, a kids meal and it comes with like hot dog and Jesus, hot dog and thingy. Um, what do you call it? Hot dog, water. I got water and then some fries, which was good. And yeah, I'm just catching some time now. Um, today is actually tomorrow is actually dry night or dry day in Dubai so majority of the clubs and everything will be closed so we won't be able to go to any they have they're not doing any form of entertainment today 
so we'll not be able to go because we finish at 6 30 so we won't be able to go anywhere tonight it's been form of like entertainment wise but we still might pop out for dinner instead of having dinner at the hotel we try and figure that part out but everything no alcohol will be served i think they probably served in like an enclosed area but like nightclubs any form of entertainment won't be happening but we leave tomorrow morning anyway we leave about 11 yeah our taxi pick us up at 11 our flight is about two something so yeah that's what we're gonna like do today so once we get back to the hotel we need to like pack up the stuff figure out what we're gonna have for dinner and then it probably be like a chill night and then get ready to head off tomorrow but for now i'm just gonna like chill here and get some sun get my tan up um get my vitamin d in because we probably won't get that much when we get to the uk okay i've got ready for the night we're about to head out we're gonna just go back to dubai mall um it's about 8 8 13 and we're gonna grab something to eat i haven't decided yet we're gonna eat so but it's either between cheesecake factory and then you have Din Tai Fung and what else? I'm gonna try and like decide. I'm on Cheesecake Factory now, I'm just kind of looking through their menu if there's anything that I fancy. And then Din Tai Fung seems to have some really good options. So I'm more leaning towards that one. But we'll see. Anyways, let me show you my quick, quick, quick outfit for the night. And I'm gonna be putting on. Like the iron here is not that great, so I'm very like wrinkly. I try my best. This is the outfit for tonight. Something very simple and cute. I've also packed my stuff because we're going tomorrow about 11. The car is going to come and pick us up. So I've packed my suitcase and I just need to like put like the other few bits um, in there. So we're going to do that in the morning as well. Um, need to double check what time checkout is. Oh, sugar. I don't know. But I think it'll be after we leave anyway. By what, what, 12 o'clock? Yeah, 12 o'clock. Yeah. He didn't tell us. So the, in the beginning. He didn't tell us anything. He just wants some extra money. Because they charge us extra money to check in early. And the room was available, which I didn't get. Because if the room was already available, why are you going to let us wait until the time when you could just give us the room? So they let us pay to check in early when we came here which was annoying um what was i gonna say yeah i'm gonna double check look at my thing again where we can go but definitely we're gonna go back to dubai mall it's just about what 30 minutes or so probably less and then see what we can have to eat for dinner should get there by about a little bit before nine i think guys i am back home i believe the last time you saw me was when i was in dubai of course and when i was i believe at dinner din tai fung so sorry the vlogging for this trip was just not that great okay but just know i had such a good time but the vlogging could have been better <laughs> i apologize but i had such a great time din tai fung was ugh, amazing the food was so good the service was amazing we got our server was like called our server was called sarah and she was just great i had such a nice meal there and because we sat outside as well we could see like the whole um fountain show that sort of thing it was just really really nice and i had such a good time so after that last night this morning we basically got ready had breakfast got straight to the airport um what did we do last night yeah we didn't really do anything else last night but go to the entire farm because remember i told you guys that they're having like a um it's gonna be eat there so everything closed off from about six thirty. not everything but in terms of like entertainment wise so there was going to be any music or alcohol being served so we just um for like din tai fung in the mall and we were so tired as well because we went to the water park which was so good oh my gosh i had so much fun at the water park 
But I am back home now and I uh, can't wait to like sleep in my own bed tonight. Can't wait to sleep in my own bed tonight. I have such a great time in Dubai. Like it's just a place that I feel like I can like visit every single year or just just constantly visit it because it was so nice. It was very hot though. Just know that if you go there, if you're going to go around this time of year, probably like try and go earlier in the year because it's very, very hot to a point where sometimes it was unbearable. Because even when we went to the the um the beach club, I was like dripping in sweat. I went in the water, the water wasn't cold, the water was warm. So just bear, bear in mind, it's very, very hot there. And just go in like seasons where it's probably a bit cooler, like the beginning of the year. But yeah, but just know it's going to be like crowded with tourists as well. But I had such a great time and I, I love that trip. I love going to Dubai, man. It's such an amazing place. Every time I go to the country and, and see it, I mean, it's my second time, but every time for both times that I've been there, I'm like always in awe. It's just great. And I'm glad that we've done like things that we've never done in the first part, in the first trip, other from like going to the water park, because that's just a must when you go to Dubai. But yeah, I'm back home now. I also left my freaking book on the plane and I'm almost finished with that book and I left my book on the plane got it but i'm just gonna download it i think i reached maybe like 320 so i'm gonna download it and see if i can like finish it but i really wanted that book in my hand because ugh, i'm enjoying the book so much as well i might repurchase it i don't know but anyways um literally just came up i bought like another perfume at the airport because i just couldn't control myself okay um this one smells so good as well um it is the shagaf shagaf oud this is the one that I got at the airport. Smells yummy. Obsessed with the other ones that I got. I'm like, I don't know when I'm going to come back to Dubai. Let me just pick up another one. It's like Swiss Arabian perfume. Smells so, so good. Absolutely love it. I went back downstairs to like pick up a few parcels that I had came in while I was off. I just put them in this bag. So these are like some PR packages and I was about to open it and I'm like, but I haven't even come and like speak to the vlog since like yesterday or or whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, that's not, that's unlike me, isn't it? Very, very unlike me. So I just wanted to come. I'm just going to unpack these um, parcel. Just wanted to come to say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this vlog. I hope you did enjoy and you know what to do give the video a thumbs up leave comments down below let me know what your favorite part of the vlog was and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so i can bring you more vlogs like this and i will be sure to catch you in the next one thank you for watching bye